there's 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 the school coppers every morning every single morning we drive through town we have to wave to all the coppers miss emmy back here loves the police officers huh <laughs> Like all the crossing guards, the police officers, anybody that has flashing lights and all that stuff. And then we, uh, you know, with her and Emmy, you know, we're big supporters of the first responders in the blue line, all our military. Uh, but and I love buses. Take out your binky. Buses. Oh, and we love buses. We search for buses every morning. We drive by the, uh, uh, shop. we drive, yes, we do. We drive by the shop. <laughs> keeping me in check uh, no but you know that's an important thing that I, I I hold really important to make sure that the children understand the importance of the police officers firefighters military and what they do for our communities in our country so uh, you know she's a little young back there but still starting to set it in there my older my oldest you know she's she's well aware of the importance of it and that you know uh, with within the news you know I don't know, our small town, we're pretty good about everything, you know, we've had, we've had some shitty things happen here in our community, uh, a couple police officers have died in the past, I mean, one just passed this past summer, um, Brian Shaw, he was a huge supporter, all-American roughneck, young kid, uh, he was the, he was an all-American roughneck, he was an awesome, awesome guy, awesome guy, uh, hey, you stay down back here, uh, but, uh, we actually have a shirt uh, coming out dedicated to him since he was a big supporter he was he's what we believed in he's what every single hard-working all-american is all about you know community family the importance of sticking together um, and his family has become uh, I've become pretty good friends with his brother and we have a shirt coming out and all all, all profits 100% of the profits that are made from this shirt will be going to the family and their foundation and what they choose to do with the money which is pretty great because the brother has very high hopes and he's taken a lot upon his shoulders to do a lot for community because that's one thing that Brian really believed in and uh, it's really awesome really awesome to be a part of it man it's probably one of the greatest things about uh, doing what we do you know, it's always great to become successful. It's always great to, uh, to, to to better yourself every day. But when you're getting involved with things that are actually bigger than you and bigger than, you know, than just touching a couple people, uh, this is something that's going to help many, many people at times whenever they feel like they got nothing. That's what a good charity foundation does. It helps change lives whenever things are at their absolute worst. And to be a part of that and to be able to do what we're what we're doing, what we're about to unleash, it's really, really awesome. So I make sure that, you know, as a parent, I instill the importance of that. And uh, that's, that's the good shit, man. That is the good stuff. And then now we are off to the shop here. We just... Off to the shop. Emmy's favorite part of the morning. Well, there's a bus behind us, Emmy. Let's take a look. It's a chilly morning. We Oh, we got one. We got one. Yeah, we got one. The doors aren't open, but it's there, huh? She loves her buses. There's two buses. <laughs> two buses, and the digger's still there. Yeah. No, no doors open though, huh? Nope. Nope, not today. All right, getting that day started, Emmy. What a morning. <laughs> Let's hear it again. Give me another one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Emmy and I have been doing Ric Flair's together for what, a couple years now, huh? Yeah. Big Flan. Two two claps two claps and a Ric Flair, huh? <laughs> uh, but every morning we do so we go see buses, we got our Ric Flares, killing the game every day. Everybody should start their day with a Ric Flair, huh? <laughs> Walk into a meeting doing Ric Flares. Woo! 
Let's hear it one more. <laughs> you gotta get the head roll too. Get the hair. <laughs> there you go. All right. Tell everybody have a good day. Another meal. Rice, turkey. Still on the turkey kick. Turkey's big with me. I'm still doing as much as I can of hormone free, antibiotic free meats. Um, doing white rice right now. Little EAA Max. No cardio this morning, so that's why I'm doing it. But everything's feeling pretty good lately. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Everything's setting in, all the food. Feeling hydrated, feeling strong. I put my shirt on this morning. It's like a little tighter. Two XLs are getting pretty tight on me. So I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Don't laugh. Every fucking one of you meatheads knows how great that feeling is. <laughs> uh, but, uh, like I said, still doing five or six meals a day. One red meat meal, mostly rice. Not much potatoes. A um, little bit of potatoes here and there. Um, uh, probably here in a couple weeks after everything, after, you know, a few weeks of hard training, really all everything setting in, all the protocol, um, that's whenever I'll start to adjust my food during the week again. But right now, one red meat meal, maybe a potato here and there, just sprinkling potatoes in throughout the week, not keeping it consistent every day. I still want to keep my midline, my waistline nice and trim, uh, not too much bloating. Uh, I gotta find, this is the thing that many people don't understand, you have to find the happy medium balance between like, uh, between making pro progressive gains and bloating the fuck out of yourself and trying to get gain, make too many gains too quick. That's hard to say, but I want to make sure that I'm filling my chest, my shoulders, my arms, my back, my legs, everything's filling up without my gut going oh, and feeling like shit all day. Now. That's a tough thing to do. So that's why I only eat red, red meat once a day right now. Um, I'm feeling pretty good from it. Uh, and no potatoes, sprinkle them in, you know, a few times a week. Uh, I still, however, on the weekends have my cheat meals because we're still all normal. So during the week, I'm consistent as fuck, okay? Uh, like I said, uh, I, I noticed that right now, I'm, I'm probably gonna need to, to keep this, the gains in the, in, and hold my, uh, hold my fullness throughout the day, I'm going to need to uh, start adding in like a higher calorie meal uh, throughout the day, probably usually in the evenings after training. Um, that way everything stays up, stays full, because I don't want to, I want to keep my fullness as, as much as possible so that way I continue to make gains. Fullness meaning muscular fullness, okay, not my fucking gut. If the gut gets too full on a regular basis throughout the day, that's how you have a distended belly. Y'all following me here? So that's why right now, like I said, sticking to rice. Because that's one thing that I know will keep me nice and flat. And then when I sprinkle some potatoes in, a little bit of red meat, I get fuller. So you gotta find that happy happy medium balance between muscle fullness and gut distension. We don't wanna have that constantly. So that's part of the process of experimenting. Um, you know, like I said, I could write a program up for myself and, uh, and everything go fine, but if I'm not paying attention to myself and not keeping notes and not keeping documentation of what's going on or how I'm feeling, something's gonna go wrong at some point. But if, and if something does, I wanna be able to look back upon it and address it. <sighs> Tropical Lemonade is a tasty flavor. EAA Max by Primeval Labs. SF25 for 25% off. Go fuck yourselves. Oh baby, starting the second half of my day, huh? Did a little bit of legs today. I'm a giant vagina. I can't train legs very hard. My knee is quite the prick. Push through it, did some leg curls, extensions, got a nice pump, did some, uh, some hack squats. They felt good, really short rest periods. And then did some slut squats and finished with a little more leg extensions and, uh, and leg curls. But nonetheless, it was been a good day. It's just those little things that drive you nuts. I'm going to pick up the, the monster right now. See what see what tricks this kid has up her sleeve. She's really into uh, obviously farting, and um, and I think her sister taught her how to shake her butt. My 
motherfuckers. What are you supposed to do? Like, I'm, you know, I don't know how to do this shit. Was, like, this is the hardest part about being a dad uh, and raising girls, is I know how boys think. Mm -hmm. I know how they think. I know, like, because I was one. And, like, I'm not going to lie and pretend that, like, nothing, like, nothing's going to happen. But, like, girls, I don't really know how you think. Y'all are fucking crazy. Boys are just dumb as shit. They're stupid as fuck. Like, that doesn't change either. I'm still a big dumb moron up in my head. Oh, look, tacos. Oh, look, cheeseburgers. Hey, look, weights. The beer? Huh, boobs. We're really that fucking simple if any women are wondering. We're that dumb. Cook his food like my buddy says, JG, if my dick ain't hard, make me a sandwich. That's how you keep a man happy. <laughs> You know, there's many people out there that might think like that's misogynistic. He's a fucking prick. Bro's one of the greatest guys I know. Treats everybody fucking incredibly well. I look at that, like, my dick ain't hard, make me a sandwich. Bro, now that's not a bad way to live because he's just explaining how fucking stupid he is. That's literally how dumb all men are. I don't like a lot of sandwiches. I prefer like steaks, chicken and rice, um, good burger, which I guess is categorized as a sandwich, but like, that's as simple as we are. That's uh, literally like, you want to make a man forget about anything bad that happened, touch his dick, touch his dick, it's over. Bring him food on a plate, like, this is my food? Yes. We're that dumb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. But nonetheless. You know, and, 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 and I know that. I know that's how men think. That's how I think. That's how, I mean, I've, fuck, I've been that way for a good while. But like, uh, you know, girls, I don't know, man. I just know on like the, the, like the crazy scale, every woman is a little bit crazy. Some women are crazier than others. Some women do a really good job of hiding their crazy. Um, some women are like, well, I'm only crazy because you guys are so stupid. Yeah, we're really dumb. We are. But like I said, not hard to please and not hard to figure out. Everybody's got their little buttons. Every guy should know, don't push the crazy button. Like there's a button that makes a girl go from like a two crazy, her regular day, or a three or a four or a five, whatever crazy she is on a steady basis, push the button straight to a fucking 10. Her 10 crazy. Don't push that button. But now I'm good at folding because I fold so many fucking shirts. Tons of shirts. You see this? I fold like a king. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. This shirt. Deadlifts and gummy bears. Shirt's fucking gone. You see that on the site, you better buy it because they're not gonna, they're gonna go so fast. I don't think that we can order shit fast enough. And then under this, boop boop. Pump covers. It's like the hottest item on the internet right now. Not really, it's just what I like to think in my head. <laughs> Fuck no, but pump covers are shit. We'll be up February 8th, 8 o'clock. Seek and Destroys, another sick fucking t-shirt. I like the green, I like the green, I like black shirts. I like black. <clears throat> oh, what a shit bulb job that was. You know, <clears throat> what's pretty wild about all of this is that, you know, this, is, this, this whole company is based on just fucking hard work. Fucking hard work, man. You know, this was a thought, this was a dream, because the reason that this company was created was because I wanted to rock a company's shit that, like, stood for something, that the people that owned it stood for something. You don't see too many companies. I mean, you see a few of them in the industry where people that, like, run their shit, like, Bro, they have a strong belief system in what they believe and that's what they do. Like this is, bro, I want to see people fucking work hard. I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care if you're a fucking janitor. You know, shit, maintenance guys at that fucking big company. Bro, if you don't have a guy working maintenance, your company's fucked. You know, that's what it is. And that's like, like whenever I was working on, uh, I was a safety consultant on, on drilling rigs, oil rigs, completion rigs. I was doing construction my entire fucking life. I grew up, this is my dad's shop. 
You know, we have the upstairs warehouse. Like, bro, like, this is what I grew up doing. I'm, I'll never forget. I'm 11, 12 years old, fucking sweeping up piles of sawdust, and my dad gave me five bucks for a pile. I, like, swept, like, fucking 30 of them. So it's, like, 30 fucking piles at the manufacturing shop they used to have. And uh, he comes out, and he's like, what, what, what are you doing? It was, like, 30 piles, and I'm like, five dollars a pile. And he's like, no, this is, like, three piles, dude. <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like, I was like what's... 30 times 5, like trying to figure it out. I was like, I'm gonna get fucking paid today. Oh man, it was good. Good times. No, I mean, all the shit you see, everything that we do has a, is a, is a very strong meaning. The all American roughneck is white collar, blue collar, fucking you name it. It's all about working hard, taking pride in what you do, being good at your fucking craft, and working to become better on a constant basis. You know, and the crazy thing is, is we sell out of a lot. <laughs> we sell out every fucking time. And it doesn't matter how much more we order, it just keeps getting bigger and better. Um, that goes to show what you guys are doing. That shows that, you know, you guys do believe in this. Every motherfucker that orders this, you take pride in wearing it. Take pride in wearing it because this, this stands for something. And, you know, I, <laughs> motherfucker, till the day I die, to the day I die, man, I love this. I'm very proud of this. Everybody that's involved with us is it. Is it? You live it. You know, it's good shit, man. I fucking love it. This tea. I dig this motherfucker. Favorite white tea. Yeah, man, but it takes everybody for this world to turn. That's the thing, you know, not enough people. You know, you see everybody that says, you gotta have this million dollar mentality. You gotta have this, you gotta have that. No, you fucking don't, man. You gotta be you. Bro, if you're not a million, men if you're not a million dollar mentality motherfucker, then don't try to be it. Be you. And be fucking good at being you. Don't be one dimensional. That's the other thing I say. One dimensional. Do not be one dimensional. Everything that you do, do with passion, do it well. Be good at your craft. That way, so, I want to be good at my job. I want to be good at whatever I do. I want to be a good, a good, uh, a good dad. I want to be a good, uh, a good son, a good brother, a good boyfriend, a good significant other, a good husband. All those things are important. Okay. Don't be somebody that's just good at one thing, because if you lose that one thing that you're really good at, you'll be nothing. Don't be good at one fucking thing. Be good at a lot of shit. Be good at everything that you fucking put your hands on. Do it with passion. And you'll be good. Fuck yeah. That's the fucking shit. Seek and destroy, bitch. Go find it and fucking destroy it. Fuck shit up. Yeah. Simple, dude. Simple T. This is the shirt that you put under your flannel, you know, You're under your fucking sweatshirt, your flannel. You put it on every morning so that you know that whenever you put it on, you feel that pride in what you're standing for, who you are. Not that one dimensional motherfucker that can't handle a shit. It's not bad, fold jobs. Ain't my finest. I'll take it. These are fucking gone too.